All right, so uh, I wanted Jim to set the table because he is the retirement guy in, this, in, the, in our department. I wanted him to set the table. Thank you for doing that to explain where that main watch list of 36 stocks came from. And then we as a team picked our own stocks from that list. I think you can't go wrong with that list. And someone asked, is that list in your software? The answer to that is no. But I like the way that Jim explained how he came up with that list. He was looking at three searches and one watch list to be able to do that. My stocks. Um, my stocks were DXCM, all right, which is also in the healthcare products. Notice that interesting that the healthcare stocks are moving well. Why? Because these are the companies, whether it's for um, vaccines, whether it's for PPE, whether it's for a lot of different things. These stocks are, uh, are rocking and rolling. So DXCM loved the earnings. First off, love the earnings per share. And yes, earnings per share does work. And earnings per share does look at how risky the stock is. And it looks at the consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance. Will this company make money quarter over quarter, year over year? And our earnings is forecasted. That's another part of what makes our earnings a little different. We look at past earnings, current earnings, we're able to forecast earnings out one year. So yes, it does work, and that's all you really need to know from the proprietary standpoint, that it works. Pretty much that's it in a nutshell. All right, so now, stock back in uh, February, look at that, pulled back, found a nice level of support sitting at that big red blotch that I cannot see. Bounced off. I bet you CI on this is pretty good too. Look at that rebound. Stocks that have high CI or high comfort index are stocks that are not uh, susceptible to long or lengthy down uh, price declines. And look at how resilient this stock was as it hit that bottom, probably around about the same time that Jim said about that March 23rd time period when the market bottomed, and look how it rebounded. Staying above that 50-day exponential moving average, it tested it, and look how that moving average held. Look at how that moving average held. And then it's moving higher, hitting a new high. A little bit of a pullback today, a little wick. Jeffy, uh, uh, Jesse, are you in here? Uh, as Jesse calls that, that's hair. That's hair at the top of the candle. Well, we call it a wick, all right? And it's got a little big wick at the, big wick, big wick at the top. And that means that there might be a little bit of profit taking on that as well. I, what is this stock? Can't see it. It's DXCM, Dexcom. All right, so I do, where do you see forecasted earnings? Right here, our earnings per share is forecasted earnings. That is our earnings. All right, so I like the graph. I like the way it rebounded after it hit a bottom. I like that it's hitting a new high over the last year, and I love that earnings is still rising. That's the reason why I picked that. That's right, Jake. This stuff really works. Any, um, we'll start. Todd. Yep, not much to not like here. Uh, it's overextended. So I'm sitting on my hands right now waiting for the market anyway. So I might just keep watching this guy, see if it pulls back from the overextension, and then I can buy it on the, re the reignite. Okay. Jim? Uh, I think it, I think it's a, it's... Again, it goes back to the list of stocks that we have, the roster of stocks that we have to choose from. Um, it's going to be hard not to find a good stock, and it looks just like the others. I love it. Um, again, look at the earnings. Look at the comfort index. Look at where's relative safety. 1.28, does that say? So relative safety is very strong. Earnings growth rate, 32% earnings growth rate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Patrick? It's great. Good. We'll move on. <laughs> I agree with Todd. Um, you know, you're waiting anyways for an entry, so see if you can get a better better buying price on it. But everything else looks good. All right. And I think that as we analyze these stocks, I still think that the majority of us are still in that trader's mentality as we do these hot stocks. The mentality is a little different from this panel. This panel is all about, and Jim was right when he looked at the first stock, Cigna. It's a long-term play in a rising industry. That's exactly what you're looking for, all right? So let's go find my other stock, 
what was this? Newmont, wasn't it? There it is, Newmont. I got a gold play in here. I got a gold play in here as a blue chip bargain. So look at that. Stock went up. And even when uh, gold was getting smacked around like a redheaded stepchild rented mule, uh, the stock was moving a tad bit sideways. Yes, I put some glenosity in here. Yes. Doggone right I am. Stock was, you notice how the, you know, a lot of other gold stocks were getting beaten up here. Newmont just stayed with the pace, hit, uh, just, just kept going. Got above that 50-day uh, exponential moving average. Look at that. As the stock's price was moving sideways, look at the earnings. That was a precursor to probably what was going to happen to the stock's price. And what did it do? Stock's price ran. Uh, February happened. COVID-19 happened. Boom. Look how quickly the stock reversed. We're CI. 1.66. These stocks that are uh, least susceptible to pullbacks, long pullbacks, look how quickly they respond. Folks, you're not going to find that CI indicator anyplace else than in this software. All right. So keeping that in mind, Stocks price nicely above that level of the 50-day exponential, exponential moving average. And Todd... Good job, Glenn. That's right. <laughs> Todd, Todd and everybody in here is probably going to say the same thing about the stock being overextended. Oh, contraire. Whatever. The stock is kind of way up there. What would you do to maximize or mitigate the losses? I am of the mindset when you're in a good quality stock, if the stock goes down against you about 20%, you probably need to think about if you still want to hold it or not. Do you agree with that, Jim? Yeah, even 15%. But, okay. Uh, yes, but covered calls, protected puts, there you go. dollars, there's so many ways around it. But uh, yeah, you still have to have a, a reasonable exit strategy to get out. For these type of stocks, it may be a little more prudent than, than very tight. but. It depends on your objective. Listen, you could day trade any of these stocks. They're all great companies. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, you want to keep a reasonable stop right. as you would in any stock. Hey, Glenn. Yes, Patrick. Real quick, can you add the green light buyer on there? The green light buyer? Are you going to comment on the same I'm thing I'm going to, I bet? Michael's <laughs> comment? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, at the yeah, bottom. That's what I just wrote down, yeah. I was going to go to... There timing graph but so he says he thinks we missed the bottom can yeah. you zoom in to yeah anywhere around that area and what date was that first green light the first day for our most aggressive investors to start getting back into the market 326 two, two three days after the bottom yep so <laughs> Patrick I, took it you, you beat me a, to it I had it written down it's not, not a big miss not, <laughs> only, no, not only that Patrick Putting up that 50-day exponential moving average, ideally suited for some of these longer-term stocks. Did the stock ever break back below that 50-day moving average, Patrick? Nope. Hmm, didn't, did it? How about earnings during that time period? Did it fall, Patrick? No. Hmm, no, no when did didn't. you start talking about gold and uh, trending Thursdays? I already, I talk about it for the past month about gold and trending Thursdays. <laughs> also here on YouTube, 2 o'clock. Every Thursday. All right. What's With the price <laughs> of the stock? Like? The price of the stock is sixty-three dollars. I just, I just gonna take two seconds sure. because there's another uh, great stock on here, uh, on the list that none of us chose. That I almost chose was Barrett Gold. There you go. G O L D. I, I have it as an, also as an honorable mention if you wanted to play the, the miners or gold or silver. So um, this is a great one, but I, I like gold. It's about a third of the price right now. Uh, if you're interested in it. All right, I'm going to undo the Zoom. Patrick, uh, uh, Todd. Yeah, here's why I wasn't worried so much on this <laughs> one about your overextended price. Okay. Because on that igniting candle, that big, that wide-ranging hollow candle. That one? Yeah, the follow-through after that. See how it consolidated for like five days after that? Yep. The price progression from that has not been parabolic. It's been it's, steady. Yeah, it's back to that 45 okay. sustainable price level. So you're still feeling the gap from the moving average because of the igniting bar, but the price action has been relatively sedate from that and organized. Who says igniting bar? <laughs> I just did. Okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna start I, trying to use it though. Igniting bar. Did we just start a book of Todd? I think we just started a book of Todd. <laughs> the igniting we bar. A oh, that has book. to be my first one. That is your first one, Todd. The igniting yeah. bar. So folks, chapter one. Going forward, <laughs> A big spike in a bar like this, for as Toddisms, is this is an, an igniting bar.
And you know something? I think it brings to point, uh, brings no, to bear a good point. It, right? Yeah. That since that big move up, stocks price was steadily moving up. So Todd is not nearly as concerned about the distance between price and the moving average. And that's a good point. I do like that. I didn't look at it that way, especially looking at the igniting bar. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like to refresh your information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.